Welcome to Math in the 151 with Mr. Harvey. In this video, we're going to be adding and subtracting integers using counters. Each counter is going to represent the number one. The yellow means positive and red means negative. For example, if I need positive four, I will use four yellow counters. And if I need negative five, I will use five red counters. To record the counters in our notebook, we're going to use an open circle for positives and a closed circle for negatives. We are also going to need to know about zero pairs, and it is exactly what it sounds like, a pair of numbers that make zero. For example, if I have positive one and negative one, together it equals zero, or positive five and negative five, still zero. Each positive cancels out a negative and vice versa. Oh, we use opposites to create zero pairs. We're going to need to pay very close attention to the symbols as we read each problem. Also, if you liked using number lines from the last video, you can always have one on hand to check your work. You should get the same answer whether you use number lines or counters, but we're looking for patterns so one day you do not need to use them. Let's start with an easy one. Four plus three. As we read the problem, we see we have four positives. The plus sign means we're adding them or putting them together with three positives. All you have to do is count them. I counted seven. Four plus three equals seven. Now with negatives. Negative six plus negative two. I see we have six negatives and we are putting it together with two negatives. All together, I count eight negatives. Negative six plus negative two equals negative eight. So far, this seems pretty easy. So let's see what happens when we add a negative and a positive, like negative five plus three. We have five negatives and we're putting it with three positives. Hint, looks like we have more red. I bet the answer will be negative. What do we call it when we're putting positives and negatives together? Oh yeah, zero pairs. So each positive and negative will pair up making zero. This will leave us with two negatives. Negative five plus three equals negative two. One more addition example, six, plus negative three. Notice we have more yellow, which means the answer will be positive. In the last video, we would have circled the plus sign and negative sign and turned it into subtraction, which you still could. It will be the same answer. Remember, adding a negative is the same as subtracting. So the three negatives will cancel out three positives, and that will leave us with three positives. So six plus negative three equals three. Now this is where most students get confused, but I will walk you through it. Remember, subtraction means take away. Again, we will start with an easy one, eight minus five. We have eight positives and we're taking away five. Eight minus five equals three. Now try four minus seven. I have four, but I need to take away seven. I see the four that I can take away. But what about the rest? We can use zero pairs. If I have four and I'm taking away seven, I still need to take three more away. Bring in zero pairs. Now I can take away the three that I didn't have before, and I am left with three negatives. Hint, if I am taking away more than I have, the answer will be negative. And we're moving on. Negative six minus two. I start with six negatives and it says to take away two. Time to pause and think. If I owe somebody $6 and then somebody else steals $2 from me, would I end up with more money or with less money? you would end up with less money. Here I have six negatives, and the question is asking me to take away two that I don't have. 
So just like before, we need zero pairs. Now I can take away two, and I am left with eight negatives. Wait a second. This sounds like a problem we just did with adding. You're right. Look back at negative six plus negative two. Remember, adding a negative is the same as subtracting. We can now see that negative six minus two is the same as negative six plus negative two. They both equal negative eight. We have one more example, double negatives. Negative seven minus negative six. Here we have negative seven and we're going to take away negative six. We are left with one negative. Seems pretty simple, right? You could also try what we did in the last video. Double negatives makes a positive and rewrite the problem as negative seven plus six and cancel out positives and negatives with zero pairs. So the answer to negative seven minus negative six equals negative one. Here's a quick rundown. When adding and subtracting integers, you can use counters to model the problem using zero pairs. Zero pairs are a pair of numbers that together equals zero. Adding is putting together and subtracting is taking away. Pay close attention to the signs. The negative and subtraction signs both mean you are losing it or owing it. Many students get confused between the difference between taking away positives and taking away negatives. Remember, if you can say it, then you know it. If you know it, you can teach it. If you can teach it, then you are ready for the test. Make sure you wrote down all of the notes in your notebook so you can review it later. If you miss anything, you can always rewatch the video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask in the comment section below and check out another math video or a random video.